What's up, guys and gals? Anthony Minetti here. I've been getting the question and seeing it a lot on the Instatubes and Facegrams about how many reps, how many sets does it take to build muscle? And I have, you know, kind of a, a few opinions about that question. And it's important, and I get it. When you're when you're starting out, and you're 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 interested in building your body, you want to know. Give me some details. Give me some numbers. Give me something to strive for, because you're goal oriented, and you wanna you wanna know the secret recipe for building muscle. I'm here to tell you that there is no secret recipe to building muscle. It's a collection of different things. It's it's adding tools into your toolbox. It's doing different things. It's it's having variety. But at the same time, it's about establishing a foundation and establishing mind-muscle connection and getting better at the practice of working out. Just like we say, I'm going to practice yoga or I'm going to practice this. You want to establish a, a discipline. Even when you're not motivated, you want to establish a discipline that's going to keep you, you know, engaged in the building of the body process. Now. How many reps and sets are needed to, re to build muscle? I can't give you a definitive answer, but I will say that it needs to be a variety of different things. It needs to be different um, workouts throughout the month, throughout the week that are gonna challenge you and also keep you engaged. Now, I believe in progressive overload. The AMP principles are always in a progressive overload fashion, I believe the body needs to have constant tension on the muscle, and if you're doing a weight, for instance, for 10 reps, you're eventually going to get stronger, and that, that same weight is not going to be you know, the same resistance, so you're going to have to go heavier, my personal opinion. Now, you can use that same weight and change it up and do a drop set or do a slow you know, three, four seconds on the negative, and you can change that whole resistance of that same weight. So again, there's many different layers there. So when the question pops up, how many reps, how many sets do I need to build muscle? Here's the long and short of it. I feel like in the beginning of your stages, a beginner, one to five years even, one to three years, right? That's a beginning stage for me, I feel like. And you need to be doing a lot of volume and a lot of reps and sets. The reason being, I say a lot, is because and you know, a lot is all relative too, right? Because I feel like you need to establish a foundation, of course. And at the beginning stages, it should be, it should be fundamental. And you should establish kind of a, um, a basis of, of, of how the body moves and, and, and get better at mind-muscle connection and connecting your mind and your muscles and, 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 and being intentional 100% with your work that you're, that you're doing for that day. Now, that being said, once you establish a foundation, I feel like you need a lot of volume and a lot of reps and a lot of sets. Now, just to give you an example, for back, it's a, it's a bigger body part, right? It's huge, many different layers, many different angles you can hit it from. When I personally was starting to build my body in the earlier stages of my career, going back 15, 20 years ago, I was doing a lot of volume, 30, 40 reps per set, per, per workout for back. 30 to 40 reps and sets, 30 to 40 sets per leg workout. Chest workout, maybe 20 to 25. Arms, maybe 9 to 12 per workout every week. Now, fast forward, I'm, I'm training 27 years, I don't require that much because I've established you know, the muscle that I'm going to have for the rest of my life now. I'm not going to get any bigger unless I were to choose to you know, take some, some anabolic steroids or something that's going to help me, you know, increase my, my, my muscle cells, right? I'm done. This is it. I'll be 185 pounds ripped, and I'll be 190 to 195, you know, out, out of contest shape. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to get any heavier than that or, or leaner. Um, obviously, as I age, I'll probably lose muscle, you know, 60, 70, um, but I'll probably be on testosterone therapy by then, but that's for a different story. Anyhow, let's get back to the question at hand. I do feel um, that as you as you get further along in, in your in your training, you require less volume, less sets, less 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 reps per set um, to maintain your muscle and, and continue to um, keep that that muscle mass and that that density. Now, uh, uh, 
I, I probably do maybe three to four sets for buys and tries, maybe every 12 to 14 days. Now, my muscles are the same size as they were, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So uh, my little homie Chris Barricat put something on Instagram the other day about requiring uh, more volume as you advance in, in your training. I agree with that to a certain extent, um, but I also disagree with it in, in a sense that it, it's, it's, there's many layers to that, right? So um, his theory was that you, you potentially could lose muscle if you don't train with enough reps and sets as, as you get further along. I feel I'm, I'm living proof that you don't need as many reps and sets as long as your reps and sets are hyper-focused and you have a mind-muscle connection. Now, in order to establish that mind-muscle connection, you need to be practicing that for years and years and years and years and years. And I can give you all the secrets and I can give you all the workouts and I can give you everything and you can have it right in front of you, but you're still not going to get better at practicing it until you practice it. And that's just how it is. So all the tools are right in front of you. I would stop obsessing about or, or questioning how many of this, how many of that. Go in, get good workouts, and, and, and just keep progressing in... in in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a forward motion. Obviously, that's what progression means. But anyhow, that would be my thoughts on how many reps and sets. I also have a theory about too much science being involved in building the body and not enough art. Bodybuilding, I feel, is an art. And the art and science need to be balanced, right? You definitely need to know you know, a structure for your workout. You definitely need to know, you know, mind-muscle connection. I, I would put that in the, in the the science realm. And there's also an art to it. There's also a feel to it. There's also an emotional kind of, you know, attachment to building your body. And that's, you know, it's deeper than just looking at a piece of paper and, and looking at, I have to do uh, 10 reps at an RP up 6.5, and that's what it needs to be. That's taking the art out of it. So, to get better at building your body, I think focus a little bit more on the art of it and, and being like a kid again. And, and when I was a kid, I just loved going in there and just working out. And not every set was perfect, but I just worked out until I didn't feel like working out anymore. And that's what my workout was. And then I, you know, met Nick and, and Nick kind of, you know, was very OCD with structuring a workout. And we always had a, a little, you know, spiral notebook and we, every six weeks or every eight weeks, we changed it up and he had it in his bag. and. I was like, bro, why are, you, why are you even doing that? And now I see the point of, of him structuring the workouts. However, we always went by how we felt. Excuse me. If we felt like doing more, we did more. If we felt like doing less, we weren't feeling it that day, we didn't do more. So that's the art of it. I feel like we need to get more art back into the bodybuilding um, and, and not so much science-y. It's important. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I'm not discrediting all the scientists out there, but... Um, let's bring the art back into bodybuilding and, and bring it more about the feel. Um, I'm not sure if Arnold really, you know, calculated his RPE every set and every rep. Not sure if Dorian Yates ever calculated his RPE every rep and set. Um, and those are two of my favorite bodybuilders. Um, Frank Zane, he calculated sets and reps, but I'm not sure if he was an RPE guy either, you know. Um, RPE meaning rate of perceived exertion and that's super popular when you're structuring a program and you really want to be dialed in 100% and you're science as fuck you're gonna be whoosh. okay I say put the art back into bodybuilding and have fun with it that's a wrap